Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle JavaScript confirmation alerts or dialogues. So let's get started. As covered in the previous session, there are three types of alerts. One is information alerts, one is confirmation alert, and other one is prompt alerts, okay? Three types of alerts are there. In that first type of alert, that is information alerts, I covered in the previous session, handling JavaScript information alerts, I covered in the previous session. Now in this session, I'm going to focus on the second type of alerts, that is confirmation alerts, and coming to the prompt alerts, I'll be covering in the next session, okay? For now, let's focus on the handling of the JavaScript confirmation alerts, okay? Same commands, the same commands that we have used for handling the JavaScript information alerts, right? The same commands we have to use for handling the confirmation alerts. But let's see how the confirmation alerts are different from the information alerts now. For that, I'll open the Chrome browser or any browser and take you to the internet, Heroku app, website page. And on this page, we have a link like a JavaScript alerts link. Let's click on that link. You'll be taken to this page where we have three buttons. If you want to see the JavaScript information alert, you have to click on the first button. This is how the in normal information alert will look like. How to handle this uh, general information alert, having this text displayed on the alert and OK button. I have, have demonstrated in the previous session, guys. Now, let's look into the confirmation alert and how this JavaScript confirmation alert is different from the Java normal JavaScript or information alert. For that, let me click on this button, guys. You will see here the difference between the JavaScript information alert and confirmation alert is here also we have the information, but uh, here we have an extra button. Okay, compared to the JavaScript information alert, we have an extra button known as cancel. In information alert, we only have OK button, but here we also have the cancel button. You, you click cancel is coming. Here only OK button is there, remaining all are same. But here, confirmation alert, everything is same except this cancel button. Guys. Okay, that's the only difference. So in order to select this cancel button, we have to use the command dismiss command. Guys. Okay, in order to accept this alert, you have to select OK. OK means accept dot accept okay this one means dismiss for dismiss cancel will happen so let's see that now so for that i'll go to this uh, you know pycham id for practical demonstration where uh, there is some sample selenium python code already written for opening the firefox browser for maximizing the browser window and uh, now i'll be directly taking you to this application url page like this so it will take you to this uh, page where you will see all these three buttons now what I want to do is uh, after going to that page, guys, after going to that page, I just want to give time dot uh, sleep just for demonstration purpose, guys. I'm giving this uh, three seconds. Otherwise, script will be very fast. After three seconds of after going into this page, I want to click on this button, guys. Click for J JS confirm button, inspect this. And uh, it looks something like this. Uh, it's a button having this particular text between the tags. So I'll create an XPath expression. Double slash button uh, text is equal to give that uh, name of the button, text between the tags of the button. Copy this, only one of one element, that is nothing but this button is getting located. I want to click on the button, driver dot, find element by dot, xpath, give the xpath expression of that button, and simply say dot, click. And this will click on the button, guys, okay? After clicking on the button, okay? After clicking on the button, you'll get this uh, dialogue, guys, okay? After, the dial uh, after this uh, confirmation alert or confirmation dialogue is appearing, JavaScript confirmation dialogue or alert is appearing, I'll just simply say time dot sleep of three guys. Okay. So after uh, it, it will not perform any operations up to three seconds, guys. Now, uh, similar to the other alerts, if you if this particular uh, confirmation dialog is displayed, you try to perform any other operation. You see, you see, you're not able to perform manually. You are not able to perform any other operation when this uh, any type of alert when it is displayed on the page, you cannot perform this. So if you still try to perform using Selenium automation, you will get this uh, same exception that I covered in the previous session. That is the uh, this exception you will get, guys. Okay. Unexpected alert present exception. Okay. Already the alert is there, but when the alert is there, instead of uh, handling the alert, okay, instead of uh, handling the alert by accepting or dismissing the alert, you are trying to perform other operations, which is not possible. And uh, with Selenium Python automation, if you are trying to do that, to perform some other operation on the page when the alert is on the page, uh, either information or confirmation alert is on the page, then you'll get this unexpected alert present exception that I covered in the previous session. Anyhow, I'm not going to repeat. So, uh, to handle the alert, what I have to do is when a particular alert is displayed to handle the alert, what I have to do is you see when I click on this button, alert will be displayed. Confirmation alert will be displayed in this example. I'll simply say driver dot. I'll use switch to dot. This is an alert, right? Confirmation alert is also an alert. So I'll simply say alert. Okay. 
So here I'll say C O N confirmation underscore alert is equal to like that. I'll write. Okay, then I'll give the name like that. Now using this object reference, I can perform many operations on this alert. Guys, I can retrieve this particular text from this alert and print in the output console. For that, I'll say print of print of confirmation alert dot. Okay, using the object reference, I'll simply say text. Same thing that I have done in the previous session, right? For the information alert, we can do the same thing for confirmation alert also. Now I want to select OK button. I want to dismiss the alert. For that, again, confirmation alert dot accept. I will say. I, I want to select OK button, guys. Okay, when this alert is up, after retrieving this particular text from the confirmation, I want to select OK. You see, you you clicked OK will be coming. Let's check that. I'll give this here after accepting the alert whether we are getting that message or not. Let's see that. After that, I'll quit the browser again. Okay. Right click and run this. You'll see that confirmation alert will be displayed and we'll be accepting that and we'll be retrieving the text from the alert and we'll be accepting that confirmation alert. Let's switch. Okay, after three seconds, it click on that uh, button and let the confirmation alert with both a OK and cancel buttons. After that, it has accepted. You see, you click OK is coming here. That means accepting is happening. Now let's dismiss the alert case. Okay. You see text also, the text on the alert also got displayed. Confirmation alert. I am a JavaScript confirm is also displayed. Okay. And now I'll simply say dismiss, guys. Let's see what's happening now with the dismiss command. Uh, you selected oh, cancel button should come here in this case. Let's see. Let's wait for the Firefox browser to launch and maximize and open the application URL first of all. After that, it has to click on that button. After three seconds, it has to click on that confirm JS confirm button and you'll get that alert. And now it has to select the cancel button. You see, you click cancel is coming when, whenever you are saying dismiss means it's selecting cancel button, simple words. Okay, so things are working fine, right? All the commands are working. Driver dot switch to alert, alert dot text, alert dot accept, alert dot dismiss, everything. Remaining everything is same. There's a, if, if there is no confirmation dialog or alert displayed on the page and you still try to switch to an alert when the alert is not present on the page, you will get no alert present exception. The same thing that happened with the information alert will happen with the confirmation alert also. Guys, okay. When there is no alert on the page and when you try to switch to the alert, which is not present, then you'll get no alert present exception. So guys, this is how we have to handle the JavaScript confirmation dialogs. Okay. Small difference is there with the information alerts and confirmation alert alerts where you have this cancel button on the confirmation alert, whereas information alert only has the OK button. Okay. When you say dismiss, it will select the cancel button. Okay. In the case of confirmation alerts. So, so that's all for this session, guys. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.